Our guest tonight uh, had some of the biggest hits of the 80s. Uh, their latest is a cover album called Thank You, Thank You. That covers the uh, songs of that covers the songs of uh, artists like Bob Dylan, as well as The Doors. Please, a warm welcome now for Duran Duran. <laughs> I gotta say, I gotta tell you this right at the top of the show, Simon, you're the first guest that has ever walked through the hallway and come out on this stage with vinyl pants. Really? <laughs> Actually, these, these, are, these are real rubber, look. Oh, they are? So. Oh, jeez. It I'm looks not almost painful. Guy, I'm not the first guy to walk out with snakeskin flip-flops, though, right? No, no, <laughs> but you're the first one to forget to wear a shirt. Yes. So, <laughs> I'm not trying to ignore you over I there. I don't need to wear a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> no, he does. You guys, I remember... He's got lovely tits. Look yeah. at those. Okay. Whoa. I don't know what it's like in England, but we don't say tits over here. Oh, don't you? <laughs> how, how are you? I'm getting old of Warren. What are you talking about? Uh, you know, I remember back, speaking of clothes, like back in like the early 80s when you yeah. guys were performing, you, you were all over uh, uh, MTV, and they, you, you had like, you would do the makeup, and the, they had the gloss and the whole thing. When you look back at that time, do you say, yeah. oh my God. Uh, well, what do I think now about it? I look back on those days with great fondness. We had great fun. Um, I mean, we wouldn't be, wouldn't, kind of be where we're at right now and I like the place we're in right now I mean we wouldn't be here if it hadn't been for the way we would kind of been through it in the past and so that's kind of my philosophy you know? right. live right now you know never, never complain never explain mm -hmm. always judge a book by its cover mm -hmm. always mix your drinks mm -hmm. let me write some of these down uh, <laughs> let me uh, ask you this are you uh, back on the MTV uh, uh, situation <coughs> over there how big was screen. MTV how big uh, of a part did MTV play when you guys were starting out or with well, the band, I think, I think it was a massive part, you know, but also bands played a massive part in MTV happening as well. You know, we needed them, they needed us. Um, what happened was it, the, the medium enabled you to be kind of universally or certainly around the globe in people's sort of consciousness visually sort of simultaneously. You could be, you could be on TV in Japan, Germany, and Ohio, all at the same time. Right, well, when you're working, I mean, on, on, a, on, a, on a treadmill like that, where you're hitting Japan, you're going to all around the world, I mean, did you guys, I would think that occasionally things would get a little tense. We've yeah. been on a, on a treadmill uh, schedule, you know, whirlwind schedule right now for this new album. Uh-huh. And, um, you know, we're covering a lot of ground, a lot of territories, but it's mostly, we're not performing live, really. Uh -huh. we're, not, we're, not, we're not on tour, but it's it's very hectic schedule, but not a lot of arguments going on. You know, if they tell us we have to get up at 7.30 and work till 10 o'clock that night, well, there's not a lot we can do about it because we really want to make our, our product succeed. Uh-huh. What about the uh, the 80s were like, were a pretty decadent time, though, when you guys were playing there, right? I mean, we're talking... For us, it was a very busy time. Everybody was uh, was being decadent. I think we were the product that people, part of the product that people were getting decadent on. You know, Simon. Well, you know, we spent, we, you know, we spent. <laughs> <laughs> Simon, come on! Oh, you didn't come out of here wearing rubber pants to tell me you weren't getting a little decadent <laughs> in the eighties. <laughs> He's right. Uh, we had a lot of fun in the 80s. I don't think it was decadent, though. We just, I mean, we, we, we worked extremely hard, and suddenly it was all, it was, you know, a year had gone by, and we'd been on the road, we'd been making records and things like that. And we'd had a hell of a lot of fun doing it. I mean, music is the thing where we, which really is, is the, at the center of our enjoyment and our, and our lives, really. You know, and, and everything revolves around that. You know, if we're not writing good songs, and if we're not playing good shows, we're not enjoying ourselves, we're not happy. And I think the whole decadence thing comes when you're not really being productive and you just sit back and everything else is going along and you're just swigging on a bottle of champagne. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's like me at this hour. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he's, that's not really true, is it? I mean, what do you <laughs> no, think? it's true. If you are, if you're working hard, uh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Uh, do you? Uh, uh, well, what's next? So you got this new album out? How's this? Well, the album "Thank You" is with the, the album cover versions. Yeah, you cover a lot of different songs yeah. in this, right? I mean, yeah. you cover uh, Bob Dylan, you yeah. cover The Doors, 
and in fact, even a couple of critics have said, because, you know, you touch Dylan and they get very, I oh, know, we've taken Sacred Cow and turned it into hamburger. Uh-huh. You know? Well, <laughs> but, I, I hadn't heard that analogy, but okay. <laughs> but, you know, hamburger, hamburgers are very popular in this country. Right. That's right. The only reason we put a Dylan song on the album is because of his picture. You know, we have all the artist's picture on the cover and there was a spot missing. In it. Oh, that's, like, that's not uh, fair. Well, <laughs> that's <laughs> not fair. It's a fantastic song, yeah, you know. It's a great song. You know, we're not purists. You know, and we, and we, and did you know when you did it, though, that the critics were going to come after you for that? Of course. Of course, of course. Right? I mean, absolutely. I mean, especially, especially with people like Dylan and Lou Reed, who really are, you know, people's untouchable idols. The best yeah. thing, though, is they all love the stuff that we've yeah. done. Mm -hmm. You know, we sent them tapes of, of our versions. And did you talk, you know, on something like that, do you have to get clearance from the artist? Do you Not have to, to call Bob it, Dylan yeah. and say, can I do this song? Not to do the song, to use their pictures we had to. Yeah. Uh -huh. <clears throat> and so what was the response? Well, we, we got a fantastic response. Um, well, um, Lou Reed said, I knew within a, within a minute of hearing this song that it was the best version that anybody had ever done of one of my songs. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that compliments don't get bigger than that. Mm -hmm. um, Flavor Flav from Public Enemy, and this, this one kind of means the most to me, said that it was an honor and a pleasure that a group such as, as this um, have chosen to do my song over and bring new, bringing new life to it and to the issue. Mm -hmm. And the issue of 911 is the issue of, of, of the, you know, the war on the poor. You know, it's about the, the poverty line. Mm -hmm. Is it true that you used to be a tree surgeon? Uh, yes. Is that true? How did you know that? <laughs> is it true? You want to as well? <laughs> where, where? They gave desert, 1978. You, just, you don't strike me as the tree surgeon type, Simon. Really? I'm, I'm a very good gardener. Yeah? Yeah, I'm very good with my hands. And, uh, well, we saw that at the top of the show, didn't we? Uh, what, uh, what does a tree surgeon do? Well, I was... Uh, <laughs> you really, you really interested in this? Yes, of course. Yeah. 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 Well, we were out in the desert, and... and, 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 and the time I was there, fruit crop was the, was the, was the big produce of, of Israel. You, what I was doing was grafting um, rootstock onto fruit-bearing stock. You plant the, the, the fruit-bearing uh, tree into the ground, and then as it gets bigger, you get a little piece of, of wood, which is a live piece of wood, and it's, a, it's from a, a rootstock, a good root-holding tree. That it's kind of a PBS get the, kind of a thing, isn't it, right now? Let me finish. And it was just stuck which will suck the moisture out of the desert much better than the fruit-bearing one could. And you graft that onto the, onto the, um, onto the, to the, uh, the trunk. Sh the show better be on at around 3 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shut kind of up! You turn on and see this is the promo right here for the show. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's you very interesting. You graft it onto the, you graft yeah. it, I haven't uh, finished. Hey, hey, Simon you said Payson. you wanted to hey, find hey, out. You, you don't know what the hell you're talking no, about. Say, I don't know what I'm talking about. You I've never planted a tree in my life, and I don't know what I'm talking about. Are you graft the rootstock onto the root... I'm not going to yeah, let you get away with go, this. Go, go, The rootstock onto the fruit-bearing stock, and then when it goes big, you cut the, the, the original um, root off, and the, and the, and the fruit-bearing tree is fed <laughs> by the rootstock. I got it! That is basic tree surgery. <laughs> now, would you like to know about irrigation? <laughs> But we will do a song. This is, uh, this is from uh, Thank You. It's a, a, a CD, and I'll tell you what, we'll do a quick break, and you guys can uh, do a little music for us, okay, yes? Uh, and then some free surgery. Right back. In just a few minutes, Simon and I will be discussing irrigation. Until then, from their new album, Thank You, here's Duran Duran with Crystal Ship. Can you hear me? Before you slip into unconsciousness, I'd like to have another kiss, another flashing chance that bliss, another kiss, another. The kids. The days are bright and filled with pain, and close me in your gentle rain. The time.
So tell me where your freedom lies The streets are fields that never die The crystal ship is being filled A thousand girls, a thousand thrills A million ways to spend your time when we get back I'll drop a 